most of you know most of the people around the room, but I'm going to start with our, our Vice President. Where is our Vice President? Our Vice President. There he is. Uh, and I'll maybe start with Mike, and we'll just go around and just — you name your position, and then we'll ask these folks to uh, go back and have a good day, and we're going to discuss our various reports. Mike? Thank you, Mr. President. And uh, just the uh, greatest privilege of my life is to serve as, uh, as Vice President to a President who's keeping his word to the American people and assembling a team that's bringing real change, real prosperity, and real strength and back to our nation. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. Uh, Mr. President, it's great to be here and celebrate this group. Uh, we are receiving, as you know, I'm not sure the rest of you fully understand the support, but law enforcement all over America, yeah. they have been very frustrated. Uh, they are so thrilled that we have a new uh, idea that we're going to support them and work together to properly, lawfully uh, fight the rising crime that we're seeing. That's and, uh, it's an honor to be and it's able good. to serve you in that regard. You've set the exact right message, and it's being responded. The response is fabulous around the country. Great success, including MS-13. They're being thrown out in record numbers and rapidly. And uh, they're being depleted. They'll all be gone pretty soon. So you're right, Jeff. Thank you very much. Alex? Mr. President, um, I have uh, privilege to be here. Uh, deeply honored. And I want to thank you for keeping your commitment to the American workers. Um, this week uh, is a full schedule for you uh, focusing on the American worker. We're very excited at the Department of Labor and uh, the apprenticeship program that, that you're going to be announcing, I think, is going to make a real difference. So thank you. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you. Mr. President, honored to be on the team. Uh, this last week, I had the great privilege to represent America uh, at China at the Green Energy Ministerial. Uh, good timing. Uh, they needed to hear why America was stepping away from the Paris Accord, and they did, and that America is not stepping back. Uh, but uh, uh, we're stepping into place and sending some messages uh, that we're still going to be leaders in the world when it comes to the climate, uh, but we're not going to be held hostage to some executive order that uh, was ill thought out. So uh, my hat's off to you for taking that stand and for sending a clear message around the world uh, that America is going to continue to lead in the area of energy. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. It's a new day at the United Nations. You know, we now have a very strong voice. People know what the United States is for, they know what we're against, and they see us leading across the board. And so I think the international community knows we're back. Thank you. That's true. Mr. President, thank you for the kind words about the budget. Uh, you're absolutely right. We are going to be able to take care of the people who really need it. At the same time, with your direction, we were able to also focus on the forgotten man and woman who are the folks who are paying those taxes. So I appreciate your support and your direction in uh, pulling that budget together. Thank you, Mr. Good morning, Mr. President. It's good to be back in the United States. I actually arrived back this morning at 1 o'clock from Italy in the G7 summit uh, focused on the environment. And our message there was uh, the United States is going to be focused on growth and protecting the environment. It was received well. Good job. Good morning, Mr. President. Uh, the intelligence community has never faced such a diversity of threats to our country uh, in our lifetimes. Um, we have men and women who are working 24-7, seven days a week. Uh, to make sure that uh, we have, are on top of all these threats. Uh, it's a joy to be working with the people that uh, I have inherited, uh, and we are going to provide, continue to provide you with the very best intelligence we can so that you can formulate policies to deal with these issues. Thank you, Jim. Mr. President, it's a privilege to serve, to serve the students of this country, and to work to ensure that every child has an equal opportunity to get a great education and therefore a great future. Thank you, Mr. President, uh, what an incredible honor it is to, to uh, lead the Department of Health and Human Services at this pivotal time under your leadership. Uh, I can't thank you enough for the, the privilege that you've given me and the leadership that you've shown. It seems like there's an international flair to the, uh, the messages that are being delivered. I had the opportunity to represent the United States at the G20 Health Summit in Berlin and at the World Health Assembly in, in Geneva. And I can't tell you how excited and enthusiastic folks are about the United States' leadership as it relates to global health security. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, as your seal uh, on your staff, <laughs> that's true. And uh, it's an honor to be your steward of our public lands and the generator of energy dominance. I am deeply honored 
and I am committed and optimistic that we can be both great stewards and be the world's largest producer of energy. Good. And you can do both. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Mr. President, thank you for the honor to serve for the country. It's a great privilege you've given me. Uh, clearly, we are engaged with our allies to ensure that they know where our common interests lie, what our expectations <coughs> are, that America will continue to be a leader, but they must do more. <coughs> they must meet their obligations, both from a national security standpoint, but also for creating conditions of stability, prosperity, and for our adversaries. We are engaging and will engage, but they have to know that we will be engaging from a position of strength to protect America's national interest, and we expect to make progress on resolving some of these differences. Mr. President, it's an honor to represent the men and women of the Department of Defense, and we are grateful uh, for the sacrifices our people are making in order to strengthen our military so our diplomats always negotiate from a position of strength. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Mr. President, thank you for the opportunity to help fix the trade deficit and other things. The other countries are gradually getting used to the fact that the free rides are somewhat over with. They're not happy with it, but I think they have a growing recognition of it. So I'm thrilled to have a chance to help you live up to your campaign promises. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mr. President, last week was a great week. It was Infrastructure Week. Thank you so much for coming over to the Department of Transportation. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of people were just so thrilled, uh, hanging out, watching the whole ceremony. I want to thank you for getting this country moving uh, again and also working again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. President, I'm proud to be here. Certainly uh, very proud to represent the quarter of a million men and women that serve the country in DHS. Uh, in the five months that I've been in the job, we have gone a long way to facilitate the uh, uh, improve the legal movement of people in commerce across our borders. Uh, yet at the same time, have uh, gone a long way to safeguarding our borders, particularly the southern border, uh, working with all of our partners to the south. 70% uh, drop in illegal immigration. While we still welcome legal immigrants to the tune of over a million a year, we are no longer a uh, friendly environment for illegal border crossers. Thank you. Mr. President, first of all, I apologize for being late for work. <laughs> in about four months, I got bogged down in that swamp that you've been trying to plan. <laughs> I also have traveled. I just got back from Paris where we met with the OECD and the WTO both. And uh, the message was similar to Wilbur's. It was mat uh, deficits do matter and ours are coming down. <clears throat> I know they are. Good morning, Mr. President. Thank you for the uh, opportunity to serve at SBA. And I can tell you that as I haven't been traveling internationally, but I've been traveling around the country. And what I'm continuing to hear is this renewed optimism from small businesses, higher than it's been in about 16 years. So those uh, people returning to the workforce, a lot of them are because small businesses are creating new jobs. So loan portfolios are up, mentoring and uh, our outreach with SCORE and our other programs are being so successful. So thank you, we're on, we're on a good trajectory and still a lot of work to do. Thank you. On behalf of the entire senior staff around you, Mr. President, we thank you for the opportunity and the blessing that you've given us to serve your agenda and the American people. And we're continuing to work very hard every day to accomplish those goals. Mr. President, it's an honor to serve as your CIA director. Uh, it's an incredible privilege to lead the men and women who are providing intelligence so that we can do the national security mission. And in the finest tradition to say, I'm not going to say a damn thing in front of the media. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mr. President, thank you for your support and commitment to honoring our responsibility to, our, to America's veterans. I know that this is personally very important to you. I have the great honor of being able to represent the 21 million American veterans that have done such great things for this country, and I work every day to make sure that we're honoring that responsibility. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. President, yeah. it's been a great honor to, uh, to work with you. Thank you for your strong support of HUD and for all others around this table that I've worked with. Uh, we're making tremendous progress and converting to a business model. I'm already seeing tremendous savings there. And uh, this month is uh, National Homeowners Month, and uh, therefore I'll be ringing the uh, 
the Belmont Wall Street at 4 o'clock, which means I got to leave at 12. Thanks. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. President. Uh, uh, while we're bragging about international travel, I just got back from Mississippi. <laughs> I love you there. <laughs> and uh, I want to congratulate you on the men and women you've placed around this table. The, the holistic team of working for America is, is making results in each and every area. Working with Secretary Ross and uh, Ambassador Lighthouse and Secretary Mnuchin and, and, and uh, Tom Price and Scott Pruitt. This is a team you've assembled that's working hand in glove with for, for the betterment of America. And I want to I thank you for that. These are, are great team members and uh, we're on your team. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. It was a great honor traveling with you around the country for the last year and an even greater honor to be here serving in your cabinet. On behalf of everybody at the Treasury, I can assure you we are focused on creating sustained economic growth, sweeping tax reform, and fighting terrorism with sanctions and all of the programs within our control. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much.